Good morning, church, and welcome to Healing Wednesday. And today I'm at um, Sugar Kids Lighthouse with a special guest, a Reverend Dr. Carmen. She is my host. <laughs> she is uh, a sister superintendent in, uh, in Castro City. And it's my honor and pleasure to have her uh, here at um, our Healing Wednesday, finally. Finally. <laughs> All right. So, if you don't mind, could you uh, tell us more about you? So I'm a, I'm a East Texas teacher mm -hmm. and came to New York City to go to seminary and fell in love with the Catskill Mountains the first time I came here. Um, I've pretty much been here ever since I graduated from seminary in different roles, serving churches in what was then the Hudson North District. Mm -hmm. um, so up in the Catskills and I love this area and it's all of its churches, its people, and also it's incredible. Mm -hmm. It's like a testament to the community. Yes, yes. Like you see today, right? Ah, today is gorgeous. All of the noise is going to show off. I mean, the creation just shows off. Yeah, right. So, is there any hymn oh, they would like to sing today with us? Uh, yeah, I think I would like to do an old hymn mm -hmm. uh, by Philip Bliss. And it was written in 1871. And the story is that Philip Bliss went to hear Dwight Moody preach. Mm -hmm. And that he was inspired by a story that Moody told. So Moody told the story of a ship that was trying to get into the Cleveland Harbor on a night that was dark and it was stormy and windy. And as the captain was entering, trying to enter the harbor, he called out to the pilot, hey, you know, I can see the great light, I can see the main light, but where are the lower lights? Where are the lights that will guide me into the harbor, the harbor lights? And the pilot said, they've gone out. And so the captain said, well, can we make it? pilot said, I think we can make it. So the captain tried for the harbor, but the ship was uh, crashed up on the shoals and everyone perished. So Moody said, you know, God's got the great light, but we have a responsibility to the lower lights and to keep them burning. And I've always been inspired by that imagery. Um, it's not my job to have the great light, yeah. but it is absolutely my responsibility to, to keep that yeah. lower light burning. Yeah. And, you know, as the song unfolds, it tells a story, and then the last verse says, trim your feeble lamps, my brother. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when a lamp is burning too high, too long, um, the, the globe of the lamp becomes small. So sometimes yeah. you have to trim it. Sometimes we got to get ourselves back in good shape. Mm -hmm. But keep those lower lights. Yes, that's so really that's much. that's the story yeah. I'd like to say. Amen. Amen. Story I'd like to say right. today. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much for uh, sharing the story too. Yeah. Well, thanks for the chance. Thank you. Beams our Father's mercy from His life house evermore. But to us He gives the keeping of the light so long the shore. Let the lower lights be burning. Send a gleam. Across the waves, some poor fainting, struggling seaman, you may rescue, you may save. Dark the night of sin has settled, loud the air. Trim 
I'm your slave, oh, and my brother. Some prosail, oh, tempest tossed, trying now to make the harbor in the darkness may be lost. Let the long hours be burning, send the gleam across the way. Some for fainting, struggling seamen, you may rescue, you may save. Be morning, and don't gleam across the way. Sun.